All right, so I have both of my projects here. I have the one that has the slab base with the coil sides and I did a pinch pot. This is gonna represent my anniversary. Once it's hardened enough, I'm gonna make this into more of a heart shape and it is a jewelry box to put my jewelry in at night. This one represents a winter wonderland uh, and it has hot cocoa cup symbolizing all the swirls of the heat coming off of the cup. I started with a pinch pot, added some coils, even for the handle for coils. Today I'm gonna use a tool because my clay is almost to leather hard, so this is great for textures and details. And I wanna burnish. When we take something shiny, especially if you had like a metal spoon, burnishing is gonna make it shiny. So when I push down, the shininess of the metal smoothing out the clay and that's called burnishing. It makes it super shiny and smooth. You don't have to use a spoon. You can use the green tools. As long as they're super clean and shiny, you can push down and burnish the same way with these tools. So today it's really about making sure your project is completed and adding those details because as your clay starts to dry out and harden and get leather hard that is the best time to carve in those details and make sure everything looks perfect on this i kind of want the textures here so i'm going to leave that i'm not going to play around with that too much but i'm going to be very careful holding my clay because once it gets to bone dry that means all the moisture's out and it's ready to go in the kiln Bone dry is when it's most fragile. So as this starts to dry and I keep it uncovered, I won't be able to work with the clay. So today and tomorrow, keep your clay covered so that way it keeps some of the moisture in and you're able to actually continue carving and adding details. Now, if I wanted to carve into this, today would be the great day to do that. I can use the tip of this and actually carve out any shapes that I want. This is a cup, so I don't want any shapes carved out, but it's up to you um, today and tomorrow to really get the finishing details, to do the piercing if you want to pierce through and create um, beautiful negative space, to do the incising, which is where you create texture with your design. So if I were to come here and push down, that would be incising. I'm creating the texture, which I kind of like, so I'm going to keep that. And then impressing, we did that with our slabs last week. That's where you kind of take a leaf or any texture and you push down to get that um, texture. So today and tomorrow, I want you to be thinking about your overall design because once it hardens, that's how it's gonna look. When it comes out of the kiln um, in about a week, then we'll glaze it. That's painting it with a special glaze and put it back in so it can harden and become the final piece. Good luck today.